Well, mate, we're here. We're here. We're I was here. gonna say finally, but it's not really, it's just come, come too quickly, this one. Yeah, well, uh, so obviously this isn't London. No. Uh, we said we were gonna start in London, but there was a, a royal event which has uh, caused bank holiday shenanigans. Uh, so we uh, had to hot foot it over the Eurotunnel, which was a massive faff. Anyway, loads of nightmares. We're in Dunkirk, which is uh, here uh, on the seaside. It's a very historic place, this. These are the beaches of Dunkirk. You may have seen the blockbuster movie about it. With Tom it. Cruise. Uh, uh, was no, it wasn't. Tom? No, 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 he wasn't no. in it. Uh, and uh, this is where the Allied forces got rescued off the beaches. And, um, yeah, incredible scenes. 63,000 vehicles were also blown up. That is true, yeah. yeah. Nobody thinks about the no. vehicles, do they? Vehicleism. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. And back to the vehicles. Back to vehicles. <laughs> Welcome to Budget Bike Battle Bavaria. And, of course, that has nothing to do with the fact that um, we're in Dunkirk and we're going to... Germany. No, I don't think we even no. need to bring no. that to anyone's attention, no. but now you have. Yes. I've never been looking forward to a budget bike battle as much as this. Genuinely. Yeah. And I haven't had any time, but I feel as ready as ever. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I've, had a, I've had time. Well, yeah. Three uh, weeks. Yeah. Which Solid. Is, yeah, but that's still... Every day. Hang on. <laughs> I've, we've fixed this bike. This bike is sweet now. It is absolutely sorted, and I'm so confident with this bike now. We've been through everything that was wrong with it, resolved all of these little problems, and we are we are looking at a winner right here. I think if you put your bets earlier on the Fireblade based on I bought something out of a shed, I did, but I'd go down to Coral right now and I'd change that bet because this is the daddy, even though it's quite feminine. Well, I'll leave my talking for the track and the rest of the challenges because this is the daddy. The mummy. The mummy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so now we're just about to head off to Bruges, which is a little hop, skip and a jump away uh, down that way. We're going to find some wiggly roads, enjoy getting to know our bikes a bit better, and then have a romantic meal in the medieval city of Bruges. Let's go. The plan is to ride from Dunkirk along the northern coast to spend the night in the romantic medieval city of Bruges. From there we escape the Eurocratic state of Belgium and into our host nation of Germany, where the fearsome Nürburgring awaits. Onwards into Saarbrücken and into Bavaria for the final destination of Oktoberfest in Munich. Okay, this is the moment of truth. I don't, I, I don't push this button. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Right, come on baby. Actually sounds like a normal motorbike now. And I'll just say before we set off, Arthur, who helped me so much, thank you so much for all of your time and effort, because without you, and James obviously, but without you in particular, Arthur, you spent so long on this, so thank you. Whew. Wow, I've got no problems. Not yet. Oh, she's sweet as a nut. Well, should we just go? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do it. I mean, we obviously can't go down there. Oh, I'm just so glad that we're out and we're going. This is, um, oh, I, I've, I've genuinely, I'm not just saying it, I've genuinely been looking forward to this more than I have done for any BBB yet. And I think that's because I've bought absolute shitters. <laughs> and you're confident now, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go, boy. Let's do it. Yes! It looks like I'm following Fabrizio Piravano. Um, just with more talent. It's funny, it's, well it's not funny, it's slightly annoying but I understand why people say it. As soon as we announce a BBB there's always so much, oh shoulda, shoulda done this, shoulda got that. You get people that are like, oh you shoulda got a K1300S or K1200S, which actually we were thinking about doing. But nobody's going to want to watch it because it just looks like shit and you're boring as hooters. Hooters aren't boring, hooters are amazing. I'm trying not to swear on this uh, episode, by the way. So let's see if I can fucking manage it. You prick. You just got to get used to your steed, haven't you? It's kind of like, okay, where are we at? We're, we're sort of... I mean, I've done a fair few miles on this, but because we've had to change it so much... Um, not, in a, <laughs> not in a cost... <laughs> it's basically like a brand new bike. Well, well no, it's, it's things like seals and rubbers and grommets and things like that, rather than whole new shock absorbers, for example, Mr. Fagan. Uh, well, a brand new tank. It's not a brand new tank. Well, you've got another tank on there. 
Well, yeah, but it's a, it's a loan. It's a loaner from Big Dave. Well, conveniently a loan, yeah. Well, there's definitely going to be a penalty for that. There's got to be some sort of uh, Why? penalty. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Uh, 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 excuse oh, me. Yeah, I, I, I borrowed the shot, mate. There, I borrowed the shot. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll give it back afterwards. Uh, Alistair Fagan. I seem to remember you borrowing quite a lot of things on the previous episodes of this. Oh, here we this. go again. Oh, she's still a bit lumpy on the bottom there. A bit smoky as well, bloody hell. Oh, they do burn a bit of oil, these, but it's a good job we've got some moat oil in the fan. It hasn't been, like, massive things that have needed to change on this. It's been a lot of manual labour. A lot of manual labour. And time. But I think we're there. I'm confident. And it looks the coolest. I mean, anyone can go and buy a bloody fire blade, but yeah, they're so common, aren't they? They're still common these days, those fire blades. You never see these. Oh my God, you're talking absolute shit. What do you ride for a fire blade? Oh, like everyone else then. Oh, what do you ride, the Yamaha YZF 750? Yeah. Oh no. And take it, take it apart and make a YouTube video and a bit absolutely fucked. You do get so violent, don't you, with these budget fire battles and so uh, aggressive. Hang on, hang on. All, all I suggest, it, uh, hang on, it just stems, this is just stemmed from me saying <laughs> there should be a penalty for you borrowing a tank, because conveniently you've borrowed a tank rather than bought one. Okay, but then we could also say there should and be a penalty. And then you got fucking eggy. We should also say that there should be a penalty for you getting stock uh, cheap parts from uh, JHS rather than paying full list price. Because I checked the price of that shock and it's 300 quid everywhere else, but for some reason, miraculously, you paid 180. <laughs> as, as we said off the camera, you know, those, you, you, you know, you bought, I don't know if you've told everyone yet, but you bought a new set of carbs. Um, now, are, are they on the bike? No, they're not. They're not on the bike, okay. So, how do I know that? Well, you can check them if you want, you fucking arsehole. I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> on the road again. Can't wait to get on the roll again On my boring fire blade It's such an old man's bike and everybody's got one We even gave my screen a little bit of a polish Which would be nice when we're tucked in on the Nürburgring thing That's scaring me quite a bit actually, the thought of that But let's, uh, let's see what happens Yeah, I'm still petrified now I mean, even though my bike is working significantly better and far safer than it was. I'm still absolutely petrified. It's, uh, it's not the place to go there and ride a slightly wonky, slightly uh, shit bike. Um, not, I'm not calling it my bike shit, I'm just saying, you know. Is that shit on the road or is that? I don't know. Spunk probably. No. Oh. smells a bit as well. What's, well, what's the speed? They just, they just smell, what's the speed? Uh, 50. They just smell old. Like old bikes like this smell a bit like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Carburetors. I've reset my odometer because I'm using quite a lot of fuel. We're having great annoying difficulties with technology. Uh, I also haven't told Al that the... Um, my, just before we left, we did one last little adjustment on this throttle cable. And annoyingly, we, I did it under the... Arthur did it under the tank. And um, there's not enough slack in it, so it's idling high now. But yeah, it's kind of—it's suddenly got all of it real now, and um, we're alone. There's a pigeon in the road. Two pigeons in the road, and uh, yeah, the support van has gone. So this is it. I'm just glad the uh, <laughs> the engine is smooth. The throttle response is good. Still a bit fluffy down the stairs, but it's a bloody... It's a 30-year-old bike with 40,000 miles on it that has been left outside in the rain for 10 years. Well, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm genuinely absolutely buzzing for this. There's a bit of a holiday vibe going on. We're going to Oktoberfest. There's not a lot of stress. Um, with other BBVs we've done, not particularly the, the last one with, uh, with Britain, but previous ones, there's lots of stuff we had to do with deadlines that we had to meet. And this one feels slightly different. It's more of a holiday vibe, as I said. I just cannot wait to uh, to get away, and here we are. So, and of course, it helps that my bike is 
running fairly well at the moment. I think um, yeah, I don't I don't trust Chris as far as I can throw him. I think you know he's he's borrowed a tank which conveniently he couldn't didn't he couldn't buy, and then um, and then he's got he bought a set of carbs. How do I know the new carbs aren't on the bike? Because the old carbs when they were on the bike it wasn't running. So I don't know. I think there's a definite amount of uh, uh, smoke and mirrors, should we say? But hey, and we just filled up and uh, we had to use E10. So. Hopefully Chris's uh, carb issue won't take the strain for a bit of E10. I know a bit of E10 ain't going to affect the fire blade, you know what I mean? Come on Yamaha, you can do this. Come on, the bets are on now. You know, yes, I've spent quite a lot of time looking after my bike, but that's what you do on a budget bike battle. It's been a, an uphill struggle at the moment, but... Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident in the bike. I, I know all its problems. Oh, so um, yeah, let's just go now. Let's just go. Let's just get on with it. There's nothing I can do anyway. <laughs> we just that's the magic of a budget bike battle. And the thing is, I understand. But like, oh, that's a much more efficient normal bike. It would have been much better and not broken down. Yeah, of course it would. But it would be boring. Like it's not entertaining. This is entertaining. And let's face it. You love it when the bikes break down, don't you? That's that's what you will want to see. So I'm not just going to go out and buy like a Honda DeVille. Because A, no one wants to ride a Honda DeVille. Sorry Honda, but they don't. Um, and it's, it's just not entertaining. Whereas this looks cool, it's probably likely to have a little wobble at some point. Um, and that's where the entertainment is. What flap? Your flap boat. Oh, my boot? Hang on a minute, caller. Thanks, buddy. We are proper backstreet hero in it today, aren't we? And uh, obviously we set the sat-nav to no motorways because I don't want to fancy sitting on the motorway for an hour when we could spend some uh, delightful time on the B roads of Belgium and uh, spend an hour and a half on these. See a bit more of the country. I haven't really, I haven't really done much in Belgium. It's, sort of, it's one of those countries you sort of go through to get somewhere. Transit. And also, you know, Al needs a little helping hand because potentially this could be 5-1. And the only reason he won the Alpine one is because, again, I bought an absolute rotter. And even that, I mean, it was still 600 quid. For some reason, the, uh, the budget didn't come into that one. But anyway. I'm not bitter. Ich habe ein bitter. Fuck this. Your bike smells quite bad. Your bum smells bad. We left the dreary depression of Dunkirk behind us, and as the roads opened up, got the chance to enjoy our freshly fettled fillies for the first time. And Monge too, was it in a moose boot? Okay, a little bit of an adventure uh, as we traverse this. Uh, it did say the road was closed, to be fair. Uh, um, why should we listen to stuff like that? I mean, it's saying we should go down here, the sat nav. I'm not fucking going down there. The sat nav says go down there. Should we follow it? Why not? There's no road. I think it's safe to say we're lost, are we? Well, yeah, I mean, well. Can you ever be lost in this modern age? Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know if you're going to like this or hate this. Oh, no, I don't like it. Oh, look at the camber. Look at that! <laughs> like, that side of the road's in shadow because the crown is so big. That wouldn't look out of place at Anaheim 1. My prediction for this... <laughs> fuck me. My prediction oh, for, my God! Oh, I saw your shadow just going off into the field then. I was like, fuck, he's off! <laughs> <laughs> My prediction, I can see you're struggling a little bit with the, uh, uh, it, it, it's complaining a little bit, isn't it? I think this feels like a real nice corner machine, but it's, it's really gutless and it's, you're absolutely revving the shit out of it. 
So I think that's sort of maybe going to be how this goes. I think you're um, you're being uh, you're reading too much into it. I'm not going into a roundabout uh, and wanting to crash. That's the only thing. No, but like, I don't got, feel like I'm, I'm going to crash. I don't feel like I'm going to crash either. But I'm just getting used to my machine. You've done about a thousand miles on yours. I've done about thirty. Oh wow! Oh, look at that fine, this fine, is beautiful, big churchy thing. Cafe, it's shut. Shut because of the Queen, probably. What an adventure! Oh wow! Look at this, Chrissy. Ooh, well, that looks fucking nice in there. Oh, it's fucking nice in there. Oh, fucking yeah. Oh, I want to slip in that one. Why? Must be quite a nice life being a cow. I mean, you just hang out in a field all day, you shit where you want, and there's food all over the floor where you've just shat. <laughs> and you lick each other's bum holes and it's fine. Do cows lick each other's bum holes? Yeah. Do they really? Okay. I used to work at a farm, mate. How long have we got left? 45 minutes. And then tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a treat for you. Because we're going to do, speaking of suspension, the beer test. And we'll explain the rules in the morning, but it's, um, I think both of us lose, really. Because <laughs> it's not going to be particularly <laughs> fun, is it? Come on, old girls. We love you. We love you. Let's get going. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit more bonded now. <laughs> We've got to stop wheeling it, otherwise we're going to, the, the steering head bearings aren't going to last two minutes. <laughs> uh, my, worst, my worst thought, I was just thinking when we were travelling here, llamas, uh, just please work, like out the van, like I think that's the biggest hurdle, like right, we're going now, we're off, we're here, and anything that happens to the bikes, we just have to use our ingenuity to fix, like but you can't, think about it too much anymore. There's a speed bump in the middle of that, I think. Yeah. Whoa, fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, I've got some cable ties, and that's basically it. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, some gaffer tape in my, uh, in my hood. Um, so we're kind of running similar strategies here. Well, together, we are the perfect team. Gaffer tape and zip yeah. ties, there's not much that that can't fix, really. Look at the fucking mud on that. Oh, shit right. on the road. Look shit the on the road. Look at the go gosh darn mud on this fucking gosh darn hell, mate. surface. I'm getting pummeled. It's because I've got the sticky S22s on. That's another advantage I think I've got on this bike is because it's got 17 inch wheels, I could get the S22. Whereas not a, there's not a lot of 16 inch front sort of. I mean, I don't think we're going to be going that fast, it's going to make that much difference, but I do like to have tyre choice, if possible. Oh, you've definitely, uh, you've definitely got that in the bag, yeah. Oh, see ya. Well, there's some real fruity bum smells around here, aren't there? <laughs> real chemical poo. Real tang, there's a real tang to them. This is the life, mate. Cruising along on your motorbike with your worst enemy. So yeah, let's sample a couple of beers tonight, I think. Not too many. I don't want to drink a lot on this trip. I just want to... Um... And in fact, speaking of drinking, beer particularly, just... I, I don't know whether it's my age or whatever, but it's getting to a point now where I just can't take the hangovers from beer. So I think this trip will probably be the last time I drink beer. And what better way to send it off than the Oktoberfest to get my fill of beer. My horn's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, been to Bruges before, matey? Uh, I've been once, but I've never stayed there. I've just driven through it. Uh, have I driven? Th yeah, we drove through it on the way to the Nürburgring um, ages ago. Is, it, is this Bruges? Are we in Bruges? We're in Bruges, yeah. Slaggery. The slag we're going to the slaggery. The slaggery slalom. Maybe both their one of their legs is red and one of their legs is blue, <laughs> and, and you have to go in the middle, right up the vag. Oh, I think you've got an indicator out, mate, because your rear bulb is flashing oh, really? way faster. I think the front one is not oh, going to be working. Oh, they've uh, they obviously disconnected it when they did the. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they've done. No, it's blown, mate. And here we are, the golden tree, or sorry, the golden tour hotel. How do we get in? Do not push or pull. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm pushing the thing. 
Let's go in here, shall we? I'm going to look like a right twat. Hello. Uh, we have a reservation, Fagan. Yeah, yes, please. Um, Will do. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you. God, I feel like such a dick. Yeah, we're good. We're golden, Sarge. We're golden. Well, we made it this far, baby. Well done. Well done. Thanks, mate. Clever girl. Well done. I think that's uh, a good shakedown. Nothing fell off. Nothing set on fire. Beer. Beer. So apparently um, no one eats on a Monday in Belgium, so everything's shut. So we're going to go out with our um, moustaches and tashes and try and find some nosh. <laughs> Trying to hold your vape in. Coming up on Budget Bike Battle Bavaria. You've got to make an entrance now. Well, if you don't want me to make an entrance. No, make an entrance. I just thought it'd be good. Make an entrance, quick, you waste, come on, make an entrance. Okay, hang on. Oh, sorry. No, as in, keep going, it's all right. It's time for the first challenge as we pour beer into cups and tackle some extreme obstacles. Oh no! What's happened? I've just got no uh, throttle response. No. Oh. And there's trouble for Team Yamaha. No power. Nothing. Oh dear. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> 